From the sensation of sectionals to the rage of the regional round. Just nine Northeast Indiana teams still alive heading into Saturday and all of them logging some miles across the Hoosier State. We started the famous Berry Bowl in Logan Sports where Wayne is facing a familiar foe north side in Class 4A. Now the legends coming out pretty hot. That's Jackson Fugate with two of his 21. In fact, north side opening with a 6-0 run. But here comes Wayne marching right back. Javon Lewis Jr., the pilfer, the pair, the punishment. 19 points for the senior as a little bit later, check out Chase Barnes. Barnes beating the first quarter buzzer. He leads the way with 26 as Wayne is up by three after one. Second quarter, it's hammer time for Kaitlyn Williams Thomas as Wayne marches on back to the semi-state round with a 79 to 69 win. It felt good because like not many people get to go back to back. So like we got we, we got the moment, the, the memory to get go back to back, but we want to go all the way. So like this is just one step. You know, coming into these games, we want to win. And going into the next game, after coming off a big dub like this, we feel like we can get that next dub. At the Wolves Den in Michigan City. Warsaw taking on Crown Point, and turns out this one will be quite the doozy. First quarter, that's Sprint Martin hitting the mid-range jumper. Actually, this game getting decided in overtime, but it's Crown Point, the Bulldogs, who come out on top, winning 55 to 42. Coming off their first sectional title in 11 years, Concordia with a pretty tough test as they face Delta at Lapel. This one coming down to the wire. Final seconds, it's Max Adair with a put back to tie things up at 37, but that leaves just enough time for Delta. Jackson Moore is getting fouled in the final second. He buries two free throws to end Concordia's season as the cadets fall in the regional round with a 39-37 loss. At Triton High School, NECC tournament champ Fairfield facing Hammond Bishop Knoll for a 3A regional title. You only got to see one play from this one. There it is. Final seconds, it's Tyson Fry with your game winner as Fairfield is moving on to the semi-state round with a 41-39 win. Let's go to Class 2A where reigning state champ Blackhawk Christian looking to stay alive against Lafayette Central Catholic in Frankfurt. Slow start for the Braves, but Kellen Pickett picking up the slack for Blackhawk as he puts Blackhawk in front by two. A little bit later, it's a three, plus the foul for Luke Mansfield. 17 points for the junior, but coming down the stretch, it's Aiden Muldoon with the aggressiveness as Blackhawk takes care of business, winning 64 to 48. Your other class 2A regional, the Apaches of Wabash, facing a red hot Westview squad up at Triton. First quarter action, check out Caden Grow. He beats the first quarter buzzer as Westview is up by three after one. Apaches though, answering right back. It's Trevor Daughtry knocking down the triple as Wabash goes in front by one. How about a little bit more from Wabash? It's Isaac Wright with the right kind of shooting as Wabash, get this, winning their first regional title since 1956. Apaches over the Warriors, 50 to 45. Final stop for boys hoops. Canterbury taking on North no Vermillion in the Class 1A regional round. Pick this one up in the second quarter. It's John Parent on the run out. Two of his 11 as Canterbury using a 7-0 run to take the lead at halftime. Coming out of the break, it's Tucker Day showing off his work in the weight room. He finishes the way, uh, finishes with 15 as Canterbury is heading to the semi-state with a 57-38 win.